hello guys welcome to my youtube channel um i know it's been a long time for recording the videos and i always apologize for that um the reason is i get lots of projects that i have to work on so um recording the videos become very difficult for me um i, I don't get enough time to record the videos you know i created this app before i decided to make the video so i don't have the recorded videos there I have to always record so this evening i mean now i'm now going to record um, this video for you guys so um what i'm going to do this is where we we left um and we don't have our favorite page and then our profile page um i was going to you know design the profile page but i think lots of you guys are asking of how to connect this thing to the database so i think i will do that so we are going to connect to the database and then when we are done with connecting to the database we can then move to the profile page and then do other things that we have to do so basically what i'm going to do is connect um this up to the database and then we fetch all food so initially we are going to display all the foods here and then um, later when you click on the view or we will view all the foods that we have here so um, let's just do that so let's go into our browser here and um, let's go to localhost php um, PHP my admin. So I'm going to use PHP to develop the API. Um, it's going to be just a simple API. And uh, so if you guys are familiar with um, PHP, then fine. I already have my ZAMP started here. So those who don't have PHP, um, you can Google to um, download um, ZAMP. Alright, all you need is to download the ZAMP and then you install the ZAMP and then you just need any test editor so you can just install this one and then you'll be good to go. So after installing all you have to do is to start the ZAMP like I've already started and then you can come to localhost and then you enter um, PHP my admin there. So all that we are going to do is to create a new database and we are going to name it Flutter Food App. I think that one is okay. And then we create. And so I already have the food database because it's already a finished product, but we are just going to create a new one. And then this time we have to create a table. So we will create one table for foods and then we can just say go. And then we need an ID here, and then we need it to be integer, and then we want it as auto increment, and it's supposed to be the primary key. And then we also need the name of, um, uh, I think name will be okay, or uh, name, or title. Anyway, title is okay, food title, or whatever it is. We also need a price, so this is supposed to be a vocal and then we need to specify um i think hundred will be okay and then for the price we are going to use um let me see we are going to use um double for that so and then let me see the um uh, first let me come here quickly and then look at the models that we have food model okay so we need the name the image path we already have the price and then we need discount and then ratings right so discount ratings price okay so discount is also um, double where's the double here and then we need to specify the size I just say six comma two here, six comma two here. Um, 
and then we need to add more tables i mean more columns sorry so what we are going to do is um let me come here we need image and then category so we need an image and then the category category id here so this will just be an integer and then we need another one for the image path so image path here and then this will just be a valcar and then we need 255 for here so this one is okay um so we can just click on then save okay so we have this um this table here um for now we are not just going we are not going to create the category so you just put any value inside and um let's just um okay so okay so we have our um database which is the flutter food app and then we have the foods okay so we have here we have nothing inside so what i'm going to do is um quickly come here i want to go into my let's just go here go here go into the zamp folder here so you go to windows where you install your zamp and then the hc folder and then we have to create a new folder here we are going to call it um flutter folder and then we want to open we want to create another folder called um api and then inside the api we are going to create two folders we are going to call them um, one the config folder and then we are also going to create another folder for the foods folder uh foods okay so when we open the config folder we are going to create a new file but i want to do that in the let me just quickly open this here let's just open the folder inside our sublime here and then inside our sublime um let me just close this one and open this one okay so here we have our folder here we have the config file so here we will create a new file called config um let me just save it config.php so this is where we are going to um add um details for our database i mean the the, the db name the user the password this is where we are going to do that so this is going to be a php file here and then we are just going to write a simple database connection code here so we will need the host and that will be our local host because we are using local host and then we also need um the user and that will be our root and then we will need the password um and then i don't have any password and then we will need it for the database name or db i think db name will be okay and then the db name is the flutter food app you remember what we did here which is just here flutter food app so that's the database name and then we have this one so we have to um, connect to our database mysql i connect and we have to pass um this into our mysql connect so we pass in the host and then we pass in the user we pass in the password and then we pass in the db name so we have this connection so we can check if the connection is not successful and then we can say if um connection not successful we just equal could not connect to database we are just making sure it connected to the database so we have this one so now we can use um 
just the browser to check whether our um our app is connected to so this localhost um slash the folder name that we have in our HD docs which is the flutter food app and then API and then the config so let's go flutter food app slash um what's the name API right and then we have config folder and then we have config dot php so we don't have this message here we don't have any message here that means it connected successfully so we can just remove and then say we can remove this one and then see if it successfully connected and then we we'll save and then check and then we say it's successfully connected here okay so we know that this thing is successfully connected and then we can just ignore this we can decide to remove this or oh, just let me just take it back to how it was okay so now we just want to fetch all foods from our database and we know we don't have anything in our database but we can write a code to get all the food from the database so we create a new file and then save the file and say get foods um let me just make this way foods.php um so here we can just go ahead with the php so this is just uh i, I won't encourage you to um, write php apis like this this is just a simple API that we are just using it for our um, our app. So I think if you want to uh, create professional APIs, I mean PHP APIs, then you should watch some tutorials on that. So we are just creating simple APIs just to fetch um, um, data from our database in the JSON form, and then we can use it in our app. So since this um, this tutorial is not uh, mainly on PHP, so we can just go ahead and do something. So first, we need to um, connect our um, we need to connect our database connection here. So we said include, and uh, we have to go back to the config folder and say config.php, and then we have to also create an array, an empty array, which will hold um the search results or the fetch results from our database and then we have to say query food here so we just have to say select all so the star means select all from foods right what's the name of our table here so food select all from foods here um and then we can save it this way. So we are saying select all from food. So select all columns from food. And that's basically what we want. So this query is fetching all data in the food table. So we have this query results. And then we can say my SQL or uh, my SQL um, query. My SQL query. And then we can pass in um, the connection and then the connection and the query food. I mean, so we have this way. So this will um, bring the results from the query. And then we can check if it has been fetched. So we have to say this one and then MySQLi. Uh, my s my sqli fetch assos and uh, we can also pass the query results here so what we are doing here is first we create a query and this is just a simple um sql um, code saying select all from foods so this is the query that we want to make and then we pass it to mysql i query here and then we pass the connection to the database and then the query that we want to do perform here so this will connect to the database and then try to fetch from the database depending on the query that we want to make and then put the results here 
Now we want to um, go to um, the results, I mean the fetch results, one by one, and then we want to fetch this as an array. So we say MySQL first, as soon as we can also use MySQL fetch array, something like this. But I think I can, you can just use this and or the other one. So now we have each um, um, array stored in this, and then we can put that array inside um, our resource here. So we can just go ahead and see this one here. Um, now we have this one and we can we can just go ahead and then echo the results in a JSON format and then we can save this one here. So first I'm going into the database I mean here and then insert some values into it since we don't have anything. So we will first say um, jollof rice and then the price should be in the price this count should be like 33 percent 33.5 percent it's a double so we can put um, and then we put one category there and then for now we we just say photo dot p engine or jpeg something like this so we save this and then we have something in our database so this is what we have um i forgot to add the ratings um Okay, let's just forget about the ratings for now. And then when we come here, now we know we can go into our API here. Let me show you what we have here. We can go into our API here. API foods and then get food and see what we have. So API foods get foods.php. And now you can see we have our fetch results in the JSON format. So we can see that we have something fetching from the database and now we can use it in our app. Okay guys, I, I think I will I will stop this video here. Make um, a quick video on the scope model because I have to explain the scope model to you guys before we use it in this uh, in this tutorial. I wanted to continue the the video with the scope model but looking at things I think I have to make a video explain how the scope model works and then we use it in our app because if I don't explain it I don't think um, you actually get what I'm trying to do here so basically what we've done is to just um, create the database here right and then we've also um, um, created the food uh, table here simple and food table and then we were able to write the code a simple database connection here I mean here and also making a simple API to fetch the the the, the foods that we want so in the next video tutorial we are going to learn on how to actually connect the 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 app to the database using scope model so that's what i use for this um, food application so that's what we are going to use so sorry for this but i'm just quickly going to make the video and then upload that one too so i'll be uploading this won't take long for me to upload don't worry so i'm just going to do that quickly because when the video is very long i find it very difficult to edit so so see you in the next video.